Hello Libra! Are you going through a difficult situation right now that is making you have sleepless nights and overthink as hell? So this reading is for you. Is the whiskey tango fox truck is happening in this situation reading. <laughs> so we're using the silver witchcraft tarot deck today and at the end we are going to ask for a little bit of advice for the room deck, okay? So let's get started. In this first position here we have two cards explaining a little bit what the situation is. And here we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Ace of Wands is desire, passion, will, drive, inspiration, energy, confidence, courage, optimism, also setting goals and invention, enterprise basically, okay? And this is the Queen of Pentacles, the calm, serene, grounded. She has a clear understanding of the world and how the world works and how she works in the world. Um, she is very, despite she is very serene here, she's very ambitious and she can be overly so from time to time okay so explaining the cards but basically what i think this situation is okay you have a grounded person okay that knows how the work the word works and she knows how to work the world and here you have a card of passion desire, um, projects, goals, invention, optimism. So, I think that what you have here, the situation that you have, is you have a new project, okay, and you are going full energy, full uh, head, you know, full dive on it, okay, and you are overthinking about it. So you say, oh my God, I have this big project, I have all this will to, to make it happen. How can I make it happen? Will, it, will I succeed? How do I do that? So you're overthinking, you know, this project that you're working on or thinking on doing, okay? So here in the second position, we have the Emperor card. And the Emperor is answering answering us what is real okay about this overthinking about the situation that you you're facing so you know this is a very good card because the emperor is a man that i i always, I always explain the difference between you know the king and the emperor so the emperor is a guy that he doesn't focus on power okay he focus on leadership he focuses on his responsibilities rather than his power. It is a, a card of stability, structure, authority, leadership. Um, also, uh, you know, order, control, protection, logic. So, what is real about the situation? Well, this situation is telling me that you're not the person that is now telling everyone that you were powerful and you can do it and you will make it. You are leading by example. You're putting in the hard work, okay? And you have the, the all it takes to make the hard work come true, you know, because you're the emperor. The third position is what is wrong about the situation, okay? And here it is, the fool. And I totally understand. So what does it mean? You're overthinking that you know nothing. You're too naive. You have no baggage. You have no knowledge. You have no skills, you know, to, to face this situation. But as we saw 
what is real about the situation is that you are the emperor. So, you know, stop saying, oh my God, I know nothing. I have nothing. How can I make this happen? No, you are the emperor. Okay. Here in the fourth position, we have the lovers. Okay. The lovers is answering um, to the question where you can need, uh, sorry, where do you need more information in the situation? Okay. So the lover tells us to follow the yearnings of our hearts with clear thought and commit to the path with our whole self, you know, body, mind, and spirit. Is always, is also a card of uh, choices, communication, partnerships, harmony, duality. So, where do you need more information about the situation? Well, the duality here is inside you. I mean, you have knowledge in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. You have the skills in your body and your mind and your spirit. So, this is telling me that where do you need more information? The information is coming, to, I mean, to solve the situation, to succeed in this situation. It's to use your duality, mind, so brain and heart, okay? Intuition and hard work. So to balance the energies here, okay? Another card of partnership, of duality here. Also love and affection. So they are, you know, side by side here. So what can you actually do about the situation? So we have the two of chalices. This is a union, a partnership, connection. Also a card of falling in love at first sight. You know, harmony again and kindred spirits coming together. You know, so you see here you have you have two eclipses here. You know, twice <laughs> in uh, in what is not right about the situation and in the outcome of the situation. So the answer is that you have the knowledge and the skills. So you have the tangible part and the untangible part. Of the solution to the situation so here it is you know a project and, and uh, when you're starting something you not need you not only need to dream it you know to have everything in the ideas in the world of ideas but also you need to have the skills to fulfill the actions to make it happen to make your dreams come true so this is telling me that the duality is complete you do have the both here to dream the project and to make the project to bring the project into reality and another very good card here so the overall energy which is the bottom of the deck giving us the final advice into this situation is death. And this is a beautiful card. You see, the sun is shining here, is starting a new day. You have the metamorphosis here happening. You know, this ugly guy here became this beautiful guy here in the other side. So the death, the time of transition you know, maybe painful, maybe difficult, but all changes are, you know, you must let go of the old, bury everything that you were before, and uh, welcome your new self, you know. Suff suffering uh, is the anxiety of holding on to things that are changing, so don't hold on to your old self, you know. Death is not suffering, it's changing, it's welcoming a new birth, it's a, an ending that brings a rebirth, it's a transformation. You're losing someone, but you're gaining a beautiful thing in the other side of it, 
okay? This also tells me, as the overall energy, that you're ready. You stepped up. Now you're ready for the new, um, not a new beginning, but a new part of your life. You must say bye-bye to your old self because now the moment has become for you to step up to a new challenge, okay? So let's see here what the rune deck is giving us uh, as the last piece of advice. So let's ask for the runes deck to give us more information about your advice here. Oh my god, I'm terrible today in shuffling, I'm so sorry. Wunjo. So, number 12. Wunjo is the card of joy and enlightenment. In the moment when the, the, the sky meets the, earth, the waters, between the self and the true self that is manifesting, Wonju comes to bring light uh, and joy. The soul is enlightened. It has abandoned behind the blockage and the darkness. Emerges from the depths the real beauty of the real self, harmonically united with our superior self. Is this, it is the arrival of the light in our inner person. The search must go on. The search is enlightening us, showing us a direction. So here the light is bringing a, a new direction for you, Libra. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me and see you next time.